I got a couple of uh, messages as well. I think um, probably uh, guys, I thought I'll probably share them or maybe wait for a few more for the next episode. But uh, this is quite strange. So I spoke to him afterwards uh, just to make sure this is real. But again, there's no way. But you, you can tell that this is... The, this is from an Urdu speaking person, not a Hindi speaking person. You can you can pretty quickly tell. Um, yeah. So anyway, so this guy says he sent me a message on second of February. Again, this shows you like how many of these messages have gone unnoticed, um, uh, and I didn't see it. So he said um, a lot of people have become atheists in my village, and the imams are going crazy. Crazy. <laughs> he goes, and then he says. After watching your videos, our whole, uh, I, I know by, he's probably just speaking it metaphorically, that whole of his village has become an atheist. I don't think it's the whole. Oh, it's, basically no, no, people so, in, in, in their droves. Um, yeah, people yeah. in droves, basically. That's what he means. And he so, said, um, people don't even go to uh, go to the local mo mosque anymore. So anyway, I, it went unnoticed. And then he sent me the is. name of the village then he sent oh, me the oh, name of his village so wow. did, yeah yeah so he's so he's specifically it was a very uh, small village um so i was like oh okay i looked it up at google maps um and so he goes and then now here's a funny part he goes on one hand imran khan is always trying to turn pakistan into the state of medina and then on the other hand people are becoming atheists and clerics are losing it um your channel is very popular in my village so yes. and he sent that message a couple of days ago and then i took a screenshot so they probably all sit together and watch your gom <laughs> maybe it is literally a gom <laughs> yeah, imagine if there's like it? one tv in that village oh, sorry one <laughs> i don't i don't think i don't recommend that <laughs> but, oh, but yeah, we've had callers not. but nuria we've had callers where these young teenage boys were calling together and they would say, well, two of us have become an atheist. Our third friend is not becoming atheist. And then and then he called in, he challenged Ghalib, he challenged me that, oh, if you give me a satisfactory answer, I'll become an atheist. And then he was like, oh, oh. And then he, and then he turned as well. So the, yes, uh, the, okay. these kids, these people are actually sharing. It's a human nature, even mm. though we tell them to be careful, but they don't because that power of youth, the passion, that people have at that age, they're going to listen to me. They're not going to listen, despite of our advices that don't be complacent, don't expose yourself, don't blow up your cover. They still have this feeling. I, I said, this guy sent me a voice note um, a day ago or something, and he was like, uh, Harish Bhai, I really, really want to talk to these people, my friends, you know, I really want to tell them what Muhammad did or his character, because they always tell me, they're always telling me about his good thing. Why can't they talk up their religion and I can't say anything? But he was also from Pashtun families. He was saying, uh, so I was like, dangerous, dangerous territory. And then- Because your life uh, is literally uh, on the line right now. That's why. And then, and then, yeah. and then, and then he sent me a message and started telling me stories. He's like, um, oh, I was, uh, I've started arguing with my friends and, oh, you know, and then Harish Bhai, you know, they get very aggressive. It's like, why are you doing this? I told you. Because I, he goes, no, it's my therapy. <laughs> I like no, doing it's that again. It's really hard. You've, imagine what you've just realized, the, 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 how profound what you've just realized is. Like, your entire life foundation changes. And to keep quiet about that and keep it inside, especially around people where normal things come up that you talk about, like that that was huge if for me as well not having anyone to speak to you feel like shouting it from the rooftops yeah. and to like bottle all of that up and then know your life is on the line in a country like pakistan i could especially see why like that for would, especially homosexuals would love uh, shouting off from rooftops yeah it, precisely yeah <laughs> as a form of yeah that, that's a double whammy because it's protesting as well what they usually do to them well, yeah, they, they throw them. Those of you who don't know the reference, yeah. they, they throw homosexuals off rooftops. Sh Sharia says that. Not yeah, find the highest rooftop that. in the yeah, yeah. in the uh, town in, in the in the town the or the village. Yeah. Uh, so um, I think they do end up shouting just be before they're pushed. There's so many videos of that and ISIS horrible, horrible videos. Um, and then it even showed those ISIS soldiers that they would even cry as well. Sorry, brother, I have to throw you. And then they would throw them, and then. When they fall and if they're still alive or conscious, um, the, the people there would just stone them to death. Uh, that's how barbaric Sharia is. This is Islam. Thankfully, 
the world has moved on. Even the Islamic world has moved on. There's only a few countries that have those kind of barbaric punishments. Um, I think actually no country, only ISIS tried to introduce them. Even Taliban don't follow Sharia to the letter. That's how bad it is. And that's why these young people who get so frustrated, it gets bottled up inside them. And they want to say that. They want to talk. They want. They want to talk like me. They want to say to them, "Ah, uh, your prophet flew to heaven on a winged donkey." <laughs> they they want to tell them, "Your prophet was caught cheating on his wife Hafsa with her housemate. When she came home, she literally found him butt naked on her bed having sex with with with, with her uh, housemate." Um, Maria Kiptia, and and then he said, "Oh, sorry, I would never touch her again." And then the Quranic verse came. So those of you who don't know, just look up Harris Sultan Maria Kiptia Q I B T I A. So you'll find the whole story with all the references. So these people want to talk about that, and then they end up talking. And then I think again, don't be reckless. I would still say, don't don't be foolish. The people you're dealing with can be extremely violent. So don't don't be uh, yeah, just go easy. Um, so this person sent me <laughs> this photo. Um, they're enjoying you on my iPad. Um, and this is another message. Hey, hey, bro, I had already become an atheist, but after um, reading your book, rest of my doubts were clear too. So thank you very much. Um, yeah. So I think that's what it is. It's just uh, it, it, it just keeps on going. It's it's growing, and th this would only be a tip of an iceberg. A lot of these people don't subscribe to a channel. Oh, by the way, pa Pakistan government has officially banned my channel in Pakistan. So Pakistani Mulhid, when you look it up, it doesn't come up. But my videos are still being recommended. So my views have, haven't gone down. But I'm just curious to see the growth of the channel. Maybe the growth might suffer a bit. But the people who have already been watching my videos or who have already subscribed to my channel, a lot of people, as I said, don't subscribe because they're worried that the authorities might track them down but they won't let me tell you they don't have the manpower resources or even the interest to do that they're, they're, they're hopeless if, if pakistan one one of my friends uh well he not my friend anymore we haven't spoken for a while but one, one, one of these um uh, ministers from the government he was i said uh oh, when karima bloch was murdered and another Balochi rebel was murdered in switzerland um i said i asked him i said are we are we next? <laughs> are the Pakistani agencies after me as well? He said, uh, Harris, we are so incompetent at everything that even if we were after you, I can assure you we won't be able to get you. So I know that was a joke, but he said not. It's, it's not. Um, and anyway, he, but but it's also he, VPN is really helping these people, right? Bypass this and still watch your videos or can... VPN and also in my other videos at the start of it, we now give instruction on how they can bypass that. So nice. uh, you, you can actually change the um, you, you can actually change your country. By default, it would be Pakistan. So you can change your country uh, if you go to um, basically uh, you click on your profile and you ch change from location any other civilized country uh united states or australia or whatever uh and if you use uh ipad or iphone then you do the same thing tap on your name in that case you go to settings and then you go to location and then change it to any other civilized country anything other than pakistan by the way and just a quick follow-up on that sorry if if you are not able to follow or engage with you know the channels and you want to and you can't for various reasons because if you share an account with your family or whatever oos put actually a really good tip here as well um so if you if you did want to follow a youtube channel you can use DuckDuckGo browser and make a new email address and then after you watch it you can clear your history um i've actually tried and tested that out as well so that is a very good tip thank you oo for that oh, okay i didn't know that one actually Some, sometimes i don't oh, actually read this? a lot of messages yeah. I, I don't read a lot of messages, but sometimes I, I, I do if I'm bored. Um, and that's not to say that I don't care about you. But my, my videos get 93, 94% likes. So I know, obviously, people who do listen to me, they do like me. But then there are always some butthurt people everywhere. There always are. You know, there's always some people, oh, my faith has 
uh, you know, uh, I, I was a weak Muslim, but now after watching Har Sultan, I've become even a stronger Muslim. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. The the fact that you have to say that <laughs> and you have to put it in writing, it shows that you're you're so frustrated and angry and you can't do anything. So have a look at this guy. Look at him. His obsession with me. Uh, and I saw one of the comments was one one of the similar comments that, you know, like, oh, Harris has helped me strengthen my belief in Allah or whatever, something like that. Um, but look at him on my channel. He's left 208 comments, 208 comments. <laughs> he goes, lol, after a few, every few days, he shows letters. No one knows how legit are these letters. These letters will be blah, blah, blah. And I was like, so, 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 so some of my supporters were like, ha, ha, ha. Nobody knows Quran is real. Nobody. And he's like, and it was like, Ugh. and then he started cursing them or whatever. Question about flying monkey, Hanuman, flying elephant, flying horses, flying cows, snakes of Hinduism. So he, and then he, he was, he, this is about the video where Egyptian journalist was being investigated uh, for questioning Muhammad's flying donkey. And he was like, oh, what about classic what, what aboutism? What about Hindu flying monkey? We make fun of that all the time. Um, and, and again, promote ex Hindu channels on Instagram pages too. Why don't you talk about them? Um, so, but look at the 208 comments. Yeah, he's like the Safraz Hussain of my channel on yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that, that just shows that, you know, it's working. It's working. And if you say that, ah, my faith has, you know, become a lot stronger after watching your videos. Ooh, dangerous territory sound. I strongly recommend you to stop watching. <laughs> well, channel. Andrew Andrew Martin makes a great point here in the chat. He says, if your Islamic faith becomes stronger because of Horus, you you show Horus is greater than Allah. <laughs> <That's so true. laughs> I'm doing better than Allah. Yeah, because you Allah... you were able to convince him of that more than Allah could. <laughs> yeah, uh, because there's so many ex-Muslims. <laughs> mm. uh, that, that's quite a good good point. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.